What's up everyone, Brian from A10 here, and in this video, we're gonna take a closer look at the hardware and the software of the A10 UC9020 Streamlive HD. As you can see, the UC9020 is not only beautiful to look at, it's also easy to use. Why is that? Well, because everything is clearly labeled on the front of the device. Here, you have your scene transition buttons. They light up so you can tell what's your preview and what's your program. Over here, you can transition scenes as well. Here you can do a hard cut between scenes. Here's your auto button for transitions between scenes. That could be two to three seconds depending on how you program it. Over here are your audio controls. Here's your volume knob. You have mute. You can choose your audio sources and more. Up here are your streaming buttons. You can hit pause. You can go live right there. Finally, you have your SRC PGM button. On the side here, you've got your USB port for your iPad or iPad Pro. Now, on the back, we've got lots of connection ports for you. First up is your SRC PGM. That's for your mix. Then your HDMI 1 at 4K. First is your loop out. You can use this to connect to a large monitor and use that to monitor your progress and what you're doing in the app. Then, of course, you've got your input. Over here's your HDMI 2 at 1080p. Then your Ethernet connection port. You can use this to connect to and live stream on any CDM platform without the need for using a laptop or a desktop computer. Then your USB. Over here are your mic jacks. And finally, your power source. Let's take a closer look at the UC9020 app. Now, here we have all of our scene presets and there are different ways to control them. First of all, you've got your hardware here, your buttons. So as you can see, one and five are selected. One is the program, five is the preview. I can hit two, okay. Now I have two and one, I can hit four, or I can just go up to the app and do the same thing. I can select scene two and dual stream for my background uh, scene preset. I've got all kinds of scene presets here. Now, if you want to start transitioning, you can use your T-bar here, and that's going to make a nice smooth transition. Let's change over to picture in picture. Okay. Now we've got our scene transition there. That's pretty smooth. Or you can hit auto. If you hit auto, it would just do it for you. Okay, you can program it to three seconds or two seconds or one second. Hit auto. Smooth, nice and smooth. Or you can also hit cut. Cut. That would just do it right away, a hard cut. That's all for this video, but until next time, happy live streaming everyone!